Hi, I'm Dr. Bradley Gibson from Apple Healthcare, the podiatrist, and summer's right around the corner, and we're all wanting to get into our summer shoes and let our toes breathe, uh, but a lot of summer shoes are some of the worst shoes for our feet. Today we're going to go over uh, some various models of different uh, summer style shoes and tell you what I like about some and what I hate about others. We'll start with the worst summer shoe, which is the classic flip-flop that everyone seems to love. And this is just the worst summer shoe you could get. Um, it has absolutely no support. As you can see, we can pretty much make a sandwich out of it. Uh, it uh, provides no support for you at all. Maybe if you were just wanting to wear this at the poolside um, for very short periods of time, it would be okay. But uh, otherwise, it's, it's trash, so no flip-flops. All right, moving up is the Reef Sandal. And as you can see, we've got a thicker sandal here with a little bit of an arch support built in, and it's a little more rigid, okay? Now, it's not rigid enough, in my opinion, but it's better than a flip-flop, okay? You're, you've got bending at the toe, but you, you have a little in the arch, but we can't make a sandwich out of it. So this is going to uh, provide you with some better support uh, than the flip-flop. Next is the UFOs. Uh, which is, again, we're getting a little more rigid as we go. Um, it's thicker. We've still got a, an arch support in here. Uh, we've got still some bending in the middle. Uh, and, you know, if you've noticed the theme here, we, what we want for a supportive shoe is pretty much rigidity from, from here back. You know, we don't want a lot of bending back here because that's going to support the heel and the ankle. So, uh, again, uh, this one's got a little more stability. Uh, and, you know, honestly, if, if you wanted a sandal to, you know, walk around the beach and, and walk around the poolside, this is far better than the flip-flop. And uh, getting more rigid now, the Power Step sandal, which is much lower profile. A lot of people like that. It's lighter weight, uh, but still providing an arch support here. And again, even more rigid. I mean, I, can, I can't hardly get any bending here at midfoot. Um, so that's a great one. Uh, and then moving up to the classic Birkenstock, we're getting even more rigid here. Again, arch support, deep heel cup that helps control that heel motion. If you control the rear foot, you can control the whole foot. So, and again, I can't, you know, I'm trying really hard here and I can't get any bending in the midfoot back. And then of course the Chaco sandal, probably the, the most rigid, at least that I have here today. Um, and, uh, again, you know, very rigid, deep heel cup, good arch support, and uh, you're going to get some good uh, foot control. And, and if you're flat footed, you really need to stay, especially if you're really flat footed, you need to stay with a Birkenstock or, or a Chaco. And they make different kinds of Chacos now. This one's a little lighter weight one, and then you know, you got some that are thicker and, and heavier. So, but they've got lighter weight ones now because. Some people complained about Chacos being heavy. So if you if you are not um, thinking about one of the one of these pair of sandals, you're just looking for some sandals. I want to give you the criteria that I look for to judge um, the quality of the sandal. Uh, one being rigidity, um, and again, we want you want a little bending at the toe, but you don't want bending from from here back. You want it to be fairly rigid. Uh, arch support, you want some kind of arch support uh, here. As you can see, this one has some. Uh, the uh, Power Step sandal has a little hump there in the arch. Of course, the Birkenstock definitely does. Uh, and that's just going to support uh, your tendons and, and support the ankle and foot all together. And the other thing, uh, too, I like is uh, I prefer to have a back strap in the sandal uh, because uh, it, especially if you're going to wear them a long time, if you're going for long walks with sandals, because if you don't have a back on the sandal, what happens is when your foot's swinging forward while you're walking, your toes automatically are going up. They're dorsiflexing to hold the sandal on. Otherwise, it would just slip right off when you move your foot forward. And I've had patients come in with extensor tendonitis pain in the top of their foot, uh, from the tendons being, you know, worn out from uh, constantly firing just to keep the, the sandal on. So, you know, and that really only comes into play if you're taking long walks with sandals. But those are my criteria uh, for uh, proper summer uh, shoe wear. Thank you.
To learn more about our recommendations for summer sandals and beach footwear, go to applehealthcaregroup.com forward slash summer shoes and come see us at Apple Healthcare for all your foot care needs this summer.